Hi everyone, um, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would do a voiceover today. So today we're gonna be doing some ink blending using a shamrock stencil from scrapbook.com. And then I have, um, so Distress Oxide ink um, is in picked raspberry. And I'm just using my cottontail blending brush and I'm going to ink blend this whole panel with just this color. Um, so I thought I would make a St. Patrick's Day card. I had just got this stencil, so I was really excited to use it. And uh, I thought it'd be really pretty um, to make some of these cards. I do have um, a friend who lives in, I uh, she lives in Ireland, so usually I send her a St. Patrick's Day card or a memory decks card. So um, this cardstock is 110 um, Georgia Pacific cardstock. So the, so I'm going to place the stencil over and I'm going to use some um, neon Neon Glitz Gel. Sorry, it's backwards. <laughs> Electro Pop. So this gel, I haven't had it for too long. I've used it, I think, only one time before this. And it's already dry. So I have a hard time blending it over. Um, so I'm kind of pushing hard there. Trying to get it in the crevices. I do get my other blending tool. I um, can't think of the name of it, but you'll see. Just to blend over it. So my go-to colors are usually pink, um, green, black, and gold for St. Patrick's Day. And I didn't have a lot of too, too many um, St. Patrick's Day items, but I realized that I needed some. So I did place a small order um, to get a, some sentiments. And I don't see too many shamrock stencils. So when scrapbook.com had this one, I was like, I had to get it. So a lot of texture. You can see it weighed down my my paper there, but at the end it's fine. It's just because it's wet. So I'm going to use Nugget Hydra, uh, Hydra Color paint and I'm just going to use a little bit of water and splatter some of that over my panel. The dye I used for my A2 panel is from the Greetery. So, just a little bit of splatter there. I like the shine that I get from these Hydracolor paints, and they're on Etsy. I will link them in my description box. It's really pretty. So, from scrapbook.com, I'm using a metallic pigment ink, gold pigment ink, pigment ink. <laughs> Sorry, I can't even say it. Pigment ink. <laughs> so um, I'm just using a sponge dauber and I'm just going to ink blend it over this scallop circle that's from Sunny Studio. If you've seen my recent haul video, that's these dies that I'm using, these scallop circles here. So I thought I would just um, ink blend it in gold and then you'll see that my larger scallop is going to be black. So it's a little light so I go over it a couple more times but it's still light but you'll see that at the end it looks good or to me it looks good. I was happy with it. So 
Okay, so there, there it is. I heat, I heat embossed, stamped and heat embossed the sentiment. The sentiment is from Brutus Monroe. And so I didn't, I was looking for a St. Patrick's Day sentiment and I just went with this one. So it's, um, I glued it down. I do have some foam tape in between the circles. And I'm just using my glue here, liquid glue. I'm starting to really like this glue now. I did order the refill. And then this is a black heavyweight A2 card base. So I did have trouble um, trying to get my circles to stay down. So I had to use my um, stamp. Gosh, I can't even think of a name. So you see, I'm just trying to hold it down my stamp block. And I put some more glue to hold it down. Now I'm just adding some gold sequins. And I like to use on point glue for my sequins. I don't want my sequins falling off, so I don't, that's awful. I hope they don't fall off. I'm sorry in the past if they've fallen off, but I do not want anything falling off my card. I always feel bad too if I receive a card and a sequin falls off. Like, I feel bad. I'll try and glue it back on. Okay, I'm finished with my card. I did make another card before this one. So let me know which card is your favorite. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you back with another video soon.